Dajcie w kolejnym odcinku, no i patrzcie, już możemy wejść. Nie? O, jest. Nasza ulubiona koleżanka, nie? <śmiech> Dobrze. Nasz NPS, nie? No jest naszym NPS-iem. Is your name Miranda? Oh, my father! I have broke your hest to say so. Good, admired Miranda. Indeed, worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time have listened to. Many a time, the harmony of their tongues. Hath I listened, Hayden? You're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite Rachel as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with my affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is. Are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Miranda's an idiot, because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> what is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive, is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. Your eye looks fabulous. Where'd you get it done? Uh... What? <laughs> Just kidding. That asshole really clocked you. It wasn't a big deal. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so... Why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh... Y yeah Sure. Okay. Uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit, and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? Times are hard for elite private high schools. Pencil font. Oh. If I'd known acting meant getting to play with weapons, I totally would have auditioned for the, the Tempest. Hey now, sharing is caring. Computer. <laughs> I have feelings about this. Most of them are not good feelings. I have bad feelings about this. <laughs> you, you. Woohoo! So <laughs> millennium item. Item, no, wiecie. Heh. Uratowałem Luka Skywalker. Han Solo w sobie uratował. This poster definitely says something. Poster. That's the 
nicest backpack I've seen in my life. Rachel looks so happy here. So it's some chyba tak, chyba. There's Rachel's belt. Trzeba będzie oddać tyle Rachel, nie? W takim razie. RA will suck as Prospera. If VC had any talent, maybe she would have gotten the part. Talent? Is that what got Mr. K to cast you, slut? Guess they don't call it Drama Lab for nothing. Rachel, is this your belt? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I really like your costume. Thanks. So, did you bring flowers for my dressing room? Uh, <laughs> I guess I owe you. I'll hold you to that. I'll let you finish changing now. <laughs> Chloe Price. Rachel Amber. Last night was amazing. Patrzę, to ubranie, co ona ma, to Maxi nosiła, nie? No, to w którymś epizodzie, nie? You call getting attacked by goons amazing? I've got to hang out with you more. Deal. To tell the truth, I went to bed last night wishing it never had to end. But then I thought, why? Why does it have to end? Is that a rhetorical question? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Ditch class. You mean it? Is that weird? No, it's awesome. I hoped you'd say that. Now about that eye, that is a hell of a battle scar. Do you want me to cover it up with some makeup? Yes, please. People won't shut up about it. Hold still. This is a lot of makeup. That's the price of valor. Close your eyes. Much better. Holy shit. Let's get the hell out of here. No nie źle, troszeczkę inaczej nasza postać teraz wygląda, nie? Maj z Majka po... umalowana. You sure you don't want to just grab the bus, or...? Nope. If we're gonna go rogue, we're doing it right. Ale ta kurczę gra tak pod fadów jest robiona. Kurczę. Aż kurczę taki tutaj wspomnienia ma z poprzednimi z epizodami, nie? Amazing. 
Rachel wants me to pull up a chair. Maybe one of these crates. Guess we're not the first ones to hop on this train. I wonder what the symbols mean. Just another typical day, skipping school with Rachel Amber. Uh huh. Things heavier than it looks. Guess I should sit down. Shall I? Shall I, Chloe? Right, Chloe, you're on a freaking train with Rachel freaking Amber. Play it cool. You freaking train, like a damn train. Is this? Damn train. Is this? Fucking is train. Yeah, fucking train, tak? Czy damn train? Demet train, chyba. Is that what people do? Following the Demet train, yeah. It's nice Rachel we're having. <laughs> what? I mean weather. It's nice weather. Nie zła pogoda. Sure is. So, it's kind of weird that we're hanging out. You mean because I don't hang out with anyone and I don't have any friends? You have friends. Well, I used to. Friend. Singular. Her name is Max, but she left for greener, more northern pastures. That sucks. I didn't mention it earlier, but you seem to have some kind of Jedi mind powers over Mr. Keaton and the theater crew. You mean when we were talking about true love in the play? I guess you could say I'm gonna use the force. Just don't do that stuff with me. Yeah, dobra, Jedi Oh shit. I bet like. what we're doing. Subscription. Udostępnienie yeah. na Facebooku. Well I wanted some company. That's it? That's it. Try again. I'm going to need more to go on than that. Joy rides with me aren't fun. Joy rides to where again? Life needs a little mystery, Chloe. Let's do something fun. V card's been punched, Rachel. I'm sorry. Wow. Too far. Well, I don't know. Okay, something fun. I'm all ears. Two truths and a lie. What? I think we should play two truths and a lie. It's a game where each person offers up three facts about themselves. Two of which are the truth, and one of which is... A lie? Right. And then the other person has to guess which is which. Sounds fun. You're on. I'll start. First, I'm ambidextrous. Second, I was born in New York, the land of fashion and Broadway, to which I will one day return when my heinous exile here in Arcadia Bay comes to an end. New York, huh? I've never been. Not a world traveler? Not yet, at least. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? Russia, Greece, Kathmandu? Katmandu. One day, I'm going to climb Everest. And I thought moving away from Arcadia Bay was ambitious. What's your third thing? My third thing? Two truths and a lie. You say three things. Right. I'm a Leo. Meow. Okay. <laughs> so, ambidextrous, born in New York, and a Leo. Gotcha. So, which is the lie? You seem more like a Cali girl to me. Damn, Price, not bad. Long Beach, in fact. West Coast is the best coast. I've only ever lived in Oregon, so... Nothing to compare it to, I guess. 
Then we'll have to change that one day, won't we? Okay, your turn, Price. First fact, right. Something about myself. Should I start things off with a lie or with the truth? Or should I cheat? Let's see how good she really is at this game. A i tutaj mogę to przejrzeć, wrócić i jednak prawdę, nie? No spoko. Kowalski? Bitch took my Yuhu. Knocked her the fuck out. I see you like to write notes to yourself. Helps me stay focused. Also, sweet scar. Kłam, to kłamstwo lepsze. I'm secretly the lead guitarist of an all-girl Misfits cover band called the Misfits. Impressive. Sad to say this, since you're a Leo and all, but I'm allergic to cats. Are you now? Swear. You're hella mysterious, Chloe Price. Uh, hella? <laughs> Who says that? It's a Cali thing. Anyway, I think I have your number. Now, about this broken hand story. It's not that I don't think you could knock Stephanie Kowalski out. A bitch takes your yoo-hoo, she's gotta get got. Tam straight. But, you didn't get that scar from punching someone. No. That scar is from a distal radius fracture. So you're a physician now. Last summer I performed a one-woman Doctor Who homage entitled Weeping Angel. Wait, what? The point is, I know that the scar you've got comes with breaking your wrist when you fall. Like, from a skateboard? Yeah. I guess... six years ago? Seven. Well, shit. I always thought I was a good liar. Good thing you're pretty. Which brings me to your alleged cat allergy. Alleged? I'm calling lie. Why is that? I mean, maybe you're allergic. But I've passed by your locker a few times. And I've seen that old photo of a cat you keep in there. His name was Bongo. It was a gift from my dad. Did he pass away? Yeah. My dad died two years ago. I thought everyone knew that. I meant Bongo. Oh my god, <laughs> of course, that's what you meant. I'm so sorry. Hey, that's okay. Awkward moment of the year? <laughs> Definitely. So, let's talk about this lead guitarist business. The business of show. As much as I'd love to be a groovy to your all-girl cover band, The Misfits. I'm gonna have to call lie on that one. You don't think I can rock? On the contrary, you absolutely rock. The problem is, your hand is smooth. No calluses. You don't play guitar. Pity, too. You'd look hot on stage. So, if my math is correct, you cheated. Not a single truth escaped your lips. Not true. Oh. Stephanie Kowalski really did steal my yoo in fifth grade. Well, she better watch out. Next time I see the bitch, she's gonna feel my wrath. You are crazy good at this game. A lifetime of studying the human condition. No, I mean you're really good at this game. It's kind of creepy. I have a hard time imagining what creeps Chloe Price out. When your dad is the district attorney, I guess lying is... something you're used to. Seriously? Seriously. I know who to call if I need to get out of a ticket then. Not that I have a right of my own. 
Car first. Embarrassing number of moving violations second. Hey, thanks for trusting me. Trusting you? You played the game, I guess. You opened up a lot, that's all. It's not a big deal. Hate to break it to you, but Chloe Price is not exactly renowned throughout Arcadia Bay as a bastion of trust and empathy. I'm just not really into touchy-feely shit. But... I feel like I can trust you. Yeah? I got on this train with you, didn't I? Fair point. Wouldn't mind listening to some music. Wanna listen? bracelet. I've had it, I guess, since I was a kid in Long Beach. It reminds me that there's more to experience out there than just Arcadia Bay. Maybe one day I'll go back to Long Beach. Or anywhere but here. Maybe sooner than later. What brought that on? Sometimes I feel like I've got no reason to stay. Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Check it out! We're here! What? Where is here? Jump and find out! Did you say jump? Jump! No way. No way. Scared? That's not the Chloe Price I know. Trust me, this is the only Chloe Price there. <laughs> Добре, да, фак. Окей. Widzicie, do co jeszcze się stało. Spoko. Nice place.
hey, <laughs> it's actually a pretty nice view. Glad you approve. And as your reward for making it up here, I have a new game for us to play. Another one? I like games. Deal with it. This is one I learned in theater class. It's all about improvisation. So far, what I've learned about you is that you're into acting, lying, and playing games. What's your point? That you're either full of imagination or full of shit. Hmm. Let me know when you figure out which one. It's all